the pair of Jordan 11s that I picked up and it's the uh, 7210 so it's, it's basically commemorating the 72 wins from uh, Chicago Bulls so basically 95 96 and the colorway is similar to a bread and uh, I suppose a Concord really and I like the uh, milky outsole it's really nice and uh, it's probably won't yellow too much I guess and or well, the yellowing won't show up too much and uh, this got some nice sort of glittery effect on the uh, mudguard area the, the patent leather so which is really nice and I also like the the low cut and that's what I originally went for so I wanted to try I never had a pair of Jordan 11s and I wanted to just try this pair and see what they were like and if I if I'm honest looking at them online and seeing them in person I'm not really like that enthused by the silhouette but obviously being a, a, a sneaker head and render YouTube reviewer now I wanted to sort of check these out anyway so just to see what they're about and they feel comfortable on foot I'll give them that and uh, they do feel really nice on foot I just don't like the way they look on foot um, for me personally I think uh, there's other models that I probably wear more and this is just looks really sort of big and bulky to me and I think I don't have too much uh, affiliation with that sort of time period either because it's more of a, an American thing really like the NBA so it's uh, one of those trainers that I sort of sort of missed out on really I don't think I don't remember them coming out in the UK or I wasn't aware of them coming out in the UK I'm sure they did but I think the hype wasn't there for Jordan in, in the UK anyway and I think the the trainer though is, is still uh, a nice trainer but it's not like a, a must have for me and but I like the historic context of it and that's mainly what the was the selling point for me but uh, like I said wearing them on foot is not my bag and not one for me but uh, it's a uh, comfortable and it's one of the more comfortable trainers so here are the details for the Jordan 11 low 7210 it comes in a black, gym red, white and sail colourway and uh, with this one it has a full length uh, Air Max unit and uh, a file on midsole which provides a uh, sort of softness and cushioning and it also has a uh, patent leather and uh, tumbled leather on the upper and the price was £160 so with the comfort and sizing these have more of a medium sole I don't think they're firm and with it being a sort of newer retro line uh, it does feel a lot nicer on, on foot and uh, but I think because of the slightly sort of thicker midsole it does prove a little bit clunky on foot I guess and they because it again it's a newer retro it does have a good support around the arch as well I think the wearing time for these probably around sort of four to eight hours mainly for the uh, patent leather and the uh, upper uh, leather to sort of soften and uh, I'd recommend going up half a size for wide footers, but for everyone else, true size should work fine. And uh, these also have a great grip. I don't think it's uh, amazing, but it's, it works really well. So with the uh, look and style, it has a similar uh, colorway to a to a Concord Jordan 11. And uh, you can wear these all seasons, and because of the fact that it's a primary uh, black sneaker with some white on the midsole and the, the sail on the outsole even if it, it sort of yellows over time I don't think it'll be too bad anyway and uh, these are sort of can be sort of dressed up sort of spark casual in my opinion as well because they're quite a sort of simple trainer and because it's a low cut as well however just be warned that they do look a bit on the sort of more bulkier side and uh, you can go with the black laces that come with it it's more sort of rope style laces but red would also work because you've got some like jump man hits around the, around, around the sneaker and uh, you can also try white or sail as well with the uh, black, white and sail does look really nice. So final thoughts, I, I like the fact that it's more comfortable than the other sort of Jordan retros and uh, it's one of the nicer ones to sort of wear. And it does look futuristic still, so it's one of those sneakers that looks uh, uh, strange at the same time as being futuristic. And with this particular pair, because of the whole 7210 theming, it's got uh, great storytelling as well. So with the cons, I think the colourway being a predominantly black colour and the shiny sort of patent leather is not for everyone. And uh, like I said, Jordan 11s in, in general have a sort of bulky look and I don't personally like that. I'm not a fan of like huge bulky sneakers and uh, usually there's only sort of certain silhouettes that, that kind of uh, persuade me to, to wear a sort of a bulkier shoe. 
but with this one it, it just doesn't I don't think it sort of suits me so with the uh, ratings I give the look and style a, a 4 out of 5 it's a, a classic sort of look to it and if you like Jordan 11s and you probably say this is a 5 um, but I'm not like a huge fan of Jordan 11s so but it's still a, a nice looking sneaker and the comfort I'm going to give it a 4 it's nice comfort and it's one of the more comfortable Jordans out there but I wouldn't say it's premium comfort comparing to a uh, sort of uh, newer sort of trainers that are out there and the quality I'd give that a 4 as well it's, it's made really well it's a patent levers bit on the cheap obviously going to be on the cheaper side but there's not really much wrong with the, the trainer itself it's made really nicely and the pricing is uh, too high for a low so it's around sort of 160 170 pound mark which is way too much in my opinion and uh, overall it's 4 out of 5 it's a really nice sneaker and if you're a fan of like Jordan 11 as you're probably going to go for this anyway but uh, for me it was one of those things that I wanted a, a low and I bought this one and just, just wasn't feeling it really. But uh, it's still a nice sneaker to look at, but it's just not something that I'd like personally wear.